2020 was a crazy year. I'm emphasizing, I'm an actress. Oh, hello everyone. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of Waking Up With Wedding Wire. We can all agree that 2020 was a crazy year and couples had to be more flexible than ever while planning their wedding. So Wedding Wire put together a study that shares feedback from over 7,000 couples on how they modified their 2020 wedding plans as a result of the pandemic. So shall we dive into some stats? Given the uncertainty and the change in regulations throughout the year, it is no surprise that 80% of couples discussed a plan B and 60% of couples did the same thing with their vendors. Speaking of vendors, they were the real MVPs of 2020. Couples relied heavily on their wedding vendors to help make the necessary changes to create a safe wedding. In fact, couples hired 12 vendors on average. And 94% of couples hired a photographer to capture all the memories from the day and night. We cannot forget that 2020 was the year of Zoom and virtual hangouts. So it makes sense that one in 10 couples met 100% virtually with their vendors, never meeting them in person prior to their wedding day. So with all these wedding planning adjustments, how do couples communicate these changes to their guests? Well, for those who had to reschedule all or part of their wedding, 60% of couples communicated that info via their wedding website, 58% of couples relied on text messaging, and 51% of couples either sent out a new invitation or saved the date. 2020 even impacted wedding attire and the way couples shopped. Eight in 10 women told us that COVID-19 impacted the way they shop and their selection. 45% of women said that the pandemic changed the way they researched attire, with many opting to do more research online or visiting less stores in person than they initially planned. Additionally, 53% of women said that fewer loved ones were able to join them for shopping due to capacity restrictions. The one thing that didn't change was the average cost of a wedding dress, which is $1,600 on par with 2019. So we made it to the ceremony and reception, even though it looked a little bit different in 2020. Roughly 45% of couples had to change their wedding venue location, and one in five had to go as far as changing their city, state, or country in which they got married. And for those who got married in 2020, 25% had their ceremony and or reception at either their home or a family and friend's home, which is an increase of 20% since last year. Following local regulations, social distancing, face masks, and streaming options were oh so popular in 2020. Just look at the numbers for yourself. You know what was also popular in terms of venue types? Barns and farms. Given the increase in health and safety benefits of having an outdoor celebration, we saw 11% increase in outdoor ceremonies and 16% increase in outdoor receptions compared to last year. While this past year showcased more intimate weddings with a smaller guest count, it didn't stop couples from adding unique touches to make the guest experience more special. For example, 40% of couples added features that were not initially planned, like a floral backdrop, which makes for great photo opportunities. Although 54% of couples had to make changes when it came to food and beverage, they still use this opportunity to add special touches to elevate guest experiences. Here are some of the personalized touches couples made at their reception. I mean, who doesn't love a good mini charcuterie board? I'll take 10, please. And there you have it. Although most of us are very happy to see 2020 in the past, gone. See ya, bye, adios. We can still learn from these trends and see how they impact future weddings. Make sure to check out WeddingWire.com for more helpful wedding planning tips and to find your perfect vendor team. And as always, don't forget to subscribe for more episodes of Waking Up With Wedding Wire. I'll see you next time, bye.